Here we have the 2021 Keystone Bullet 211 BHS WE. This dual axle trailer features an aluminum frame, fiberglass body with foam core insulation, sealed underbelly. You do have a power tongue area for your propane where your deep cycle 12 volt battery would go in its tray and uh, very popular. You do have a battery disconnect so that you can shut off power to your travel trailer when not in use. Keystone Bullet has a convenient docking station all ported from underneath the trailer and here you have hot and cold water access, water heater bypass for winterization, you have your fresh water connection, pardon me, fresh water connection, your black tank flush, and your city water connection, as well as another battery disconnect, your key TV to streamline your satellite and cable feeds, as well as the switches for your power stabilization jacks that you have on this trailer. On the campsite of this travel trailer, the other side of your pass-through storage, you can see how much space you have in this area. Also a nice um, board so you can add tools and other equipment and fasten them down securely. You do have a powered awning with LED light strip. Your solid step reaches all the way to the floor or ground and is adjustable depending on the terrain. And this folds all the way into the travel trailer, eliminating the possibility of damaging stairs that hang underneath the travel trailer. She'll demonstrate. Very easy, one-handed into the travel trailer with a locking mechanism. Now the stairs are located inside of the travel trailer. Bringing the stairs down just as easy. Unlock the latch. Bring them down to the ground. As we move forward, you do have exterior speakers as well as a 110 outlet and access to cable and satellite. In the very rear, this unit does come with an outside kitchen cooking area featuring a two burner propane cooktop, storage area, and a small fridge with a freezer component. If you would like to use an alternate cooking source, you do have quick connect for propane so that you can connect any propane accessory and have it running off of your house propane bottles attached up front. The rear of the travel trailer, you do have your spare tire mount as well as a ladder to access the roof which is fully walkable and provides a convenient way to clean off and provide maintenance to your travel trailer. As we enter the Bullet 211 BHS WE, immediately to our right, we have a front full-size queen bed. Easy pass-through access to your pass-through storage compartment in case you wanna have a laundry basket out here or have quick access to any items stored below. Little privacy drawer, front wardrobe, pass through storage above your bed. On both sides of your bed, you have power outlets, both USBs and traditional 110 outlets, as well as shell ported shelves so that you can put your electronic devices on a uh, higher plane if you so choose to. From the master bed, you have an area where you can fix a second television, 110 outlets, as well as feeds for cable or satellite. When we look across from the bedroom, we have your kitchen area, a lot of cabinet storage space, deep well sink, residential style faucet. We can see some pretty deep storage above your sink as well as some utensil and knick-knack drawers a lot of storage space underneath your sink you have your RV microwave vent and light 
three burner propane cook top with backsplash, LED backlit knobs, decent sized oven, heat, your refrigerator. I do believe this is an eight cubic foot refrigerator RV running off of both propane, if not plugged into shore power. Um, but it will switch over automatically once you do plug in to electric. Across from the kitchen area, you do have your main dining area with this seat, seat, seated across booth dinette. One awesome feature is that you do have additional storage under both sides of the booth dinette. This storage is also accessible from the top of the booth. So you can reach hard to get items all the way in the back. Also, utilize the booth dinette as a bed. By bringing the table down. Now your booth dinette has turned into an additional sleeping space. Above the booth dinette, you have your entertainment center, television on a swivel mount. Let's pull that. It's a locking swivel mount. So it does come out and go in multiple directions, depending on the viewer. Behind which you have all of your connections, as well as storage for movies and DVDs. Little cubby your radio receiver, which controls your interior speakers as well as your exterior speakers. Um, it, it does have a USB port. It is Bluetooth capable. On the other side of the television, again, you have some additional storage space. Moving to the very rear, we have your double over double bunks in this nice little secluded corner. You have some open space for storage. You can open that storage up a little bit by lifting the bed. Inside of the bed area, each bunk has a private nook with power, both 110 outlets and USBs. And you can see the same on the top bunk. Both bunks are also lit, giving either occupants some individual lighting options. In the restroom, you actually have a lot of space in here compared to other travel trailers of a similar size. Quick test. I am six foot three, 220. I have plenty of space, both leg room in this bathroom with the door shut. Doesn't even come close. I am a little close to the shower, but that's okay. Stepping into the shower, as you can see, there is a tub here. If you have small children, that would be very, very helpful. Inside of the uh, skylight, I have plenty of space. Of course, if I get any closer, I will hit my head. See the vanity. Storage space under which. Nice sink, faucet, plenty of storage in the medicine cabinet. Your flooring. Keystone product. It's a Keystone only product called Hyperdeck. It is inorganic. It is resistant to water penetration as well as dents. On your roof, you do have an AC unit that uh, runs a track system through these high flow air vents all the way up and down the travel trailer. And of course, I did mention your heat is a propane furnace heat pumping out heat through the floor. If you have any additional questions regarding this travel trailer, please don't hesitate to reach out. I am here to assist you in any way that I can. I hope that uh, I've answered some of your questions, but please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any additional. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day.